So my wife is always trying to get me to be more healthy. For some time now, she has been developing an ethos of well-being in our shared life together. And I woke up one morning recently and she informed me that she didn't want to buy shower gel or soap anymore and instead suggested that I make my own. I began researching how to make soap and realized that it was fairly easy. Soap is basically a mixture of oils and you can choose what oils you want to use. The only other ingredients you need are sodium hydroxide and water. Without sodium hydroxide, you just can't make soap. It's the sodium hydroxide that turns the oils into a solid. So even if you're buying organic soap, sodium hydroxide has still been used and is the only ingredient allowed in organic soap that is not organic in itself. Now, sodium hydroxide is incredibly hazardous. It's a caustic alkaline chemical and a degree of care needs to be taken when you handle it. Sodium hydroxide will burn your skin and cause blindness if you get it into your eyes. So you must wear gloves, long sleeves and eye protection. But these are just precautions. My skin never came into contact with sodium hydroxide and the cleanup afterwards was also danger free. Now, the greatest thing about this experience was realizing that I could put a perfume into soap. Not just a few drops of essential oil, but an actual composition of base notes, heart notes, and top notes. So not only is the soap that I made healthy for my skin, but it also perfumes my body with a synthesis of sensuality. Now showers and baths are sensual experiences and I wanted to make a perfume of instinctive earthiness, not so much reflecting nature outside the window, but the earthen nature of humanity. And what sprung to mind was Mandy Aftel's mint vetiver, specifically the marriage between vetiver, clary sage and ylang ylang. For me, that accord had to be in there. So I decided that I'd use the whole perfume as a base and just add some complementing oils and give it an invigorating citrus punch right at the top, just to grab you by the nostrils and get you drunk on pungent olfaction. In Mandy Aftel's perfume, she has patchouli, benzoin, vetiver, clary sage, ylang ylang, bergamot, black pepper, and spearmint. I added Himalayan cedar, frankincense, styrax, cypress, lavender, melissa, coriander seed, rosewood, and litsia cubeba. And then I also added some patchouli leaves to the mix, and it's just fantastic, beautifully perfumed. It's both grounding and stimulating. It's visceral, sexual, and intimate. Adding the patchouli leaves was like adding garlic to hot butter. The soap is deliciously divine. If you want to make soap at home, there's a great website called Brambleberry, which calculates how much sodium hydroxide and water you'll need, depending on the amount of oil you're using. As you can see, I needed a total of 93.94 grams to turn 200 grams of oils into soap. Altogether, I ended up with 293.94 grams, which pretty much filled an empty 250 gram tub of Batoli olive oil butter. This recipe also accounted for a 2% super fatting level, which basically means that 2% of my oils did not saponify and turn into soap, leaving nourishing oils which are good for my skin. This website also has a fragrance calculator, so you can determine a safe amount of essential oils to correlate with the quantity of soap you're producing. Soap is a wonderful vessel for perfume and turns perfume into a physical pleasure of olfactic caressing, where scent and touch are entwined. You can drown your entire body, lava it up, and bathe in glorious sensuality.